Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in the new Audi RS e-tron GT, which is now the most powerful Audi you can buy. It's even more powerful than an R8, believe it or not. So let me give you the stats on this car. It's got two electric motors. Together they provide 646 horsepower when you're launching it. They also deliver 830 newton meters of torque. It's got a two-stage automatic gearbox. It's got a launch stage and a high-speed stage for the gearbox. So you can be quick off the line and do decent sustained high speed. It's quite a heavy old car because of all the batteries. You've got an 86 kilowatt usable battery pack on it. So weighs in at just over 2.3 tons, which is quite a lot. It's expensive as well, this car. Starts from 112,000 pounds. Let me tell you about that R8. You see, that is actually the pre-facelifted version of the R8 because I couldn't get the very latest one from Audi doesn't matter though it's got the same 5.2 litre natural aspirated v10 engine and that car's engine's been tweaked so it puts out the exact same power and torque as the current r8 performance that you'd buy right now so it's got 620 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque it's got seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox it's got all-wheel drive it's got launch control and it's a lot lighter than this <laughs> weighs in at just over 1.6 tonnes. More expensive though, if you want an Audi R8 V10 performance, they start from around 128,000 pounds. Now you can save money on one through CarWow. If you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see how much you can save on a new car through CarWow. Alternatively, at a later date, just simply Google help me CarWow and me and my team will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers. Now, before we race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss any drag races. And why don't you follow me on Instagram for loads of behind the scenes stuff and what I get up to in my spare time. It's Matt Watson Cars. Anyway, let's get on with the race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Before we get on with the race, it's time to do the obligatory CarWow sound check. And I love doing it in electric cars. I wonder what exhaust noise the editor will come up with for this silent car. To me pressing the throttle. <coughs> Let's have a listen to that. All right. <coughs> yeah, shut up now. We get the point. Let me know which you preferred <laughs> in the comments below. Next thing to do, warm up the old tyres. Want to do it? It's a bit weird. It like does some of it for you. You can feel it like pulling itself around, it's very odd. Oh no, I'm out of control. Oh, <laughs> it kind of moves the power around all over the place as the electric motors figure out what to do. What's going on? It's showing me how to do it. That's really embarrassing, that's enough. That's enough, that's enough. I get the idea, yeah, well done you, well done you. Let's race. I'll wipe that smile from your face in a moment. Your drifting made me sad, Matt. <laughs> it was shit, wasn't it? <laughs> so the big question here is, this is the most powerful Audi now, but is it the quickest? This is gonna be so exciting. <laughs> Come on, RS Tron GT. <laughs> Oh, no way. Smashed him. Not even coming back. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing dance to celebrate. How was that? But this launches really well and then bogs for some reason. After the wheel spin it bogs. Not while the wheels are spinning, afterwards, and then it cuts power. So that's the only reason you won. So don't start smiling now but still won, right? Yeah, he won. Three, two, one. Oh, it's closer. Oh. <laughs> this is just pulling. I am gapping him. Look at that. What happened? So it got into second and then double shifted into third. It was really good up until that, wasn't it? One last go. What I want you to do is put it in, not manual, put it in just sport drive and then let it change. What I find is you go to change and it's thinking about changing at the same time. 
Yeah, no, I fully get that, but I didn't touch it. That was all itself changing up, nothing to do with me. Do we believe him? Let's give him one last go. Third time lucky. This is his final chance. If he doesn't nail it this time, sod him. Oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, this is going to be close. Am I going to regret giving him another go? Is he pulling it back? He's not going to. Yes! <laughs> you had a decent launch then, didn't you? Launch was really, really good, but it's doing this short shift from second to third every time. I don't know why it's doing that. I reckon if it hadn't done that, you might have won, but it did that and you didn't win. So let's move on. So then what exactly happened? Well, the RS e-tron GT won with a standing quarter mile time of 10.9 seconds. The R8 came a close second with a time of 11 seconds exactly. However, it did bog down a bit at the start, and previously I've managed a 10.7 second quarter mile time out of an R8 V10 performance before. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in their normal comfy setting. Well, I'm actually going in efficiency mode. <laughs> and I'm going to be very, not very efficient actually. Right, I'm going to count it in. You ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> this is efficiency mode as well. Look at the numbers climbing. It's coming past now though. Can he get past me before the half mile? Oh no, he's tanking. Does this have a speed limit? Though? Here's the mile. This is still going. Oh, regen, I'm regening. Oh, I'll get all that charge back in the battery. Come on, give me some range back. Don't use the friction brakes. I just want to, oh, yes, feel that. Recouping the lost energy, putting into the battery. Whereas he's just like transferring his forward momentum into heat when he brakes. I feel smug. I'm saving the polar bears, mate. You're just killing everything. Did you not see me avoid the rabbit? So we will have none of that. I'm killing everything. <laughs> see you lift for the rabbit. There's a thing in the highway code that you are supposed to swerve or take evasive action for no animal smaller than a dog. The only thing I won't swerve for is a human. Other than that, animals, I'll protect all of them. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do another rolling race now. But I want you to choose what gear and what speed, and you can be in sports mode. So you want to be in your best case scenario. Third at 55 miles an hour. That's very, very specific. Okay, so I'm going to beat you, right? I'll take off first. But at what speed do you reckon you can come past me at? Well, I think I'm going to beat you in this gear anyway, but if not, I reckon about 135. I'll be coming past you at. You heard the man. We're now going to have a rolling grace with the cars in their sportier setting. He's going to be in third gear at 55 miles an hour. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I think you put your foot down earlier. That's done, that is. Brake hard, brake hard. You know, you had all those extra goes on the drag race. Right, we're going to do this again. Just get, let's get to the other end of the runway before we go into the brake test. So I want a, a little bit of a rematch on that because I think you were a little bit premature. Sound like his wife. It may have been a little bit premature, but I still think I'm going to beat you. I think I found the sweet spot in this. You were so premature, you didn't even get it out of your pants. That's my go-to. <laughs> you totally Forrest gumped it. Okay, here we go then. Don't be premature. We're trying to show the performance of the cars, right? This is car journalism, not sport. Three. Oh, this has, this just kicked up into its second gear. Maybe that's the problem. Kick back down. Three, two, one, go. You see? You see? You cheating bugger. Can you, oh, look at the speed climb. Are you going to come past? It's 130. It was 136. <laughs> right, let's just go straight to the brake test before we discuss this. <laughs> I don't want to give him a right to reply. Go, no, I don't. 70 miles an hour for the brake test. Just on the brakes, not using your gears. Get level, get level, get level. If you lose this, you're the overall loser. <laughs> Yeah.
your car is like 600 kilos lighter than mine, so that's not a big surprise, is it? Uh, happiness is. That wasn't you being premature again, was it? I do quite enjoy this car. <laughs> Giving me no applause for saying one mile an hour under what I assumed it would be at. Plus the fact I said 55 and third. Well done for predicting your defeat. <laughs> anyway, I've got an amazing deal on a performance car that's a lot cheaper than that Audi R8, but it's loads of fun as well. Real good deal. And if you want to see what it is and the deal, click on the pop-out banner at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Oh, there we go. Where's he going? I haven't finished this bit yet. He's supposed to stay still. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy the video if you did. Please give it a like and let me know what you think of this race in the comments below. Maybe I should do a race of this against other RS cars, RS6, RS7 and RS5 as well. Let me know in the comments below. As ever, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. If you'd like to see exactly how this e-tron GT's time compares to all the other cars we drag race, then click on that box there to go to the CarWack Drag Race leaderboard. Click on those windows there, you can watch some other videos. See you next time.